<laughs> Boy, do we have a fun one for you guys today. In today's video, we're gonna be comparing the June Weeble 2 to, well, I should probably just show you right now what's filming this. This Hollywood camera car over here. Now I realize this is the most ridiculous comparison ever, but it's always fun to see the results. So let's get to it. Hi everybody and welcome to Oro Station Motor Circuit here in Oro Medante, Ontario. Today we'll be doing some car shots. This will be the subject of our video. We'll be doing some standard car shots and then moving our way up into more advanced, more cinematic car shots. But most importantly, before we even see some of those shots, let's figure out the gear that we're working with. All right, everybody, let's talk about the gear that I will be using. This is the June Weeble 2. I will be flying a Sony a7S III with a 24 to 70 f2.8 G Master lens. This is a fairly heavy mirrorless setup, but I think it's gonna do a really good job. Now, they recently just improved the stability on this gimbal. What, what I really, really like is it has under slung mode, which means I can get really, really low to the ground to get dynamic car shots. This whole setup is fairly inexpensive. I have good faith that it will perform well. That being said, I have a heavyweight competitor. I came to fight, I came for war. I came to win, to settle the score. Hey guys, my name is Vinny. I'm from Kala. I'm a cinematographer in Toronto. We're here today with the Kala car. We have a red Monstro with an 18 to 100 lens, a Movi XL gimbal and the Motocrane Ultra on top of a Mercedes ML63. A package like this basically would cost you about $200,000. That includes the gimbal, the arm, the modifications to the Mercedes ML63, and the car itself. All right, so before we see these shots, I have to say this, because I don't want to get sued. Giant disclaimer right now, we are professionals on a closed course. Please do not try this at home. This is for demonstrative purposes only. All right, so for our first example side-by-side -side shot, we are going to be doing your standard tracking shot. Now, typically in most car commercials, you usually see the car. It's shot at three-quarter angle, so that's what we're going to try to attempt today. They're going to go first. Camera's rolling. And action. This is going to be hard to try to match this. <laughs> I will do my best, but I think I need to upgrade the rig a little bit. This is my janky version of a Russian arm. We got a monopod. I'm going to put it on the gimbal here and Russian arm for the win. I just still don't feel that confident. Like their footage is really good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go show the guys my, my janky Russian arm. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of it. And action. Lots and lots of dust. My eyeballs are a desert. But the shots look good. Wow. I am sorry, June and Sony and anybody, just anybody who appreciates gear, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, that not bad. Good. That's yeah, it's good. decent. Yeah. Yeah. Tracking shots done. Okay, so for our next test, we're going to move to a longer lens. We're going to get a tight shot on Wes, who is the driver of the Can Am over there. What's up? And we're going to try to wrap around him. One of the added benefits that the Cala team has is that they have an AC that can pull focus and they can put a really long lens on it because they have a really beefy setup. What I'm worried about is that I will be relying on the Sony A7S's autofocus to stay locked on Wes's face. So we'll see. I feel like Cala might outperform here, but. I don't know, the last, I was impressed with the last one, so we'll see. And action. Yeah, no, it's cool. Like if you're if you're happy with it, I'll 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 do my attempt at it. I think so what I'll do is I'll still put it on the arm, I'll have it low, I'll I'll it's tilt it up a little bit and then I'll I'll use James driving as my like rotating access. So hopefully. Yes. Exactly. We'll see.
That was probably like the best one out of them all. Uh, everything else was really difficult to try to hit. You guys yes. were even tighter too. Guys, I feel like I'm straight out of a Mad Max movie right now. For our third shot, what we're gonna be doing is a parallel tracking shot. So we have two runways here. Cal is gonna go on one side or I'm gonna go on one side and we're gonna have the Can-Am on the other and we're gonna track with a longer lens at a distance and see how that looks. This is what we've been trying to beat the whole day is the rain and it is here. And action. Okay, I just saw their shot. It is so good. Like, kudos to their team. I will do my best. It's also raining now. Let's go for it. That legit kept up. That's not bad. Kudos, like covered in mud, it's raining. Yeah. Like it's it's still working, it's still doing the job. Yeah. Okay, let's check this out. It's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Truthfully, going into it, I had no faith. <laughs> like, I thought I thought the wind would catch it. Yeah, I'm impressed. Everything, like, like... I'm actually impressed. All right, so we're gonna take a quick second to comment on each other's footage. Truthfully, when you pulled up with this, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to keep up. And then you started showing me some of the shots. I was like, that looks so good. You were able to get, like, low, point the camera up, have more, like, dynamic shots. And, like, I'm limited to this little space where I'm like, I have this small gimbal. Will I be able to do anything like that? Your footage looked so good and watching you and your team work together was like fascinating what did you think of the the little gimbal stuff <laughs> i loved it actually yeah. i was really impressed with the footage that you got out of your gimbal i mean this takes a lot of coordination to it, it requires three or four people talking at the same time yeah to get a shot done whereas you're on your own and you can quickly change the camera angle the way you need to yeah so i think there's something to be said about like efficiency and speed um and it's beautiful to see that there's tools out there that can that can do almost what this thing can do. If you guys are interested in learning more about Kala, I will leave the links below. Vinny, you are a legend. Thanks, dude. Thank Appreciate you, it. pleasure. <laughs> Day one of this gimbal, it got thrown into the trenches and it did a pretty good job. Seeing those side-by-side -side shots, not bad, Weeble 2, legitimately. If you guys wanna learn more about this gimbal, I will leave links in the description. Also a giant shout out to the entire team that helped make this video happen. We have the Cala team with everybody that's involved with making those shots. We have Oro Station, the future of motorsports in Canada. You should see what they got planned for the next couple years. Simcoe Motorsports for lending us the Can-Am to shoot. My friend Wes for just organizing this entire thing. Links in the description for that entire team. And if you like this video and the village that it took to make this video, please press like actually makes a difference to the algorithm. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Also, if you guys like digital assets, you can sign up for my newsletter and get a bunch of free stuff. And at 500,000 subscribers, we're giving away a camera and a bunch of other things. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one.